This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. You're welcome to the biggest entertainment show you should get used to. On this show, we analyze and dissect the trending entertainment stories. My name is Efero Luo Shinke, and I've got my co-anchors with me, the sassy and confident Elwa Ritu, and the free-spirited Benny Ak. What's good? Hiya. I'm great. Who told you I was free-spirited? Oh, uh, well, I could tell. Uh, what informed that? What informed that? I, mean, I, I don't know. You guys oh, are you don't have to do this are, every are you, day. Are you pretending? We're not doing this every day. I'm just wondering, free-spirited, I mean. Yeah, are you say not... that, I really don't know what they mean by that, though. Um, I mean. Well, uh... Um, because I got to believe. I believe in something. Free-spirited, does that make... Does that make it void of beliefs? Brother, you are free-spirited. I'm just open-minded. Ross, <laughs> you are free-spirited. <laughs> Argue with your ancestors. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand you. I said you are fist spirited. Is he it not fist spirited? He said it's not. It's not. So you're just so. No, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm like, okay, so. what does it really mean when people say that? You know, like, is this one void of belief? Oh, you're just someone who has a vibe. Like, when you walk into a room, you can get Everybody along with everybody. You. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the that's, that's what it? spirited me. Oh yeah, okay. I, I could vibe with that. I could vibe with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be bringing the dictionary to this set. So every time I say anything, I'll just give you. When you ask me, I'll just oh toss God. the dictionary to you. Just, just by yourself. Just messing with you, bro. All right, man. So um, how, was your, how was your night, though? It was restful. Restful, you? Brief. All right. Power outage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't relate, right? Be proud just for a bit. But didn't you put your gen on? I didn't have four. Oh, you she, Should I fix it? I, I, I don't fake it till I make don't it. Know buy you for I, I can't it's fake okay. it. Nobody's buying. Everywhere I've been to this morning, everybody like Nepal's a strike and mm. um, what's it called? It's not Nepal. What's that? Their new name again? Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. Eco, Eco, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Why is this news too? Why is, why is everyone making this big news like headline news? Have they ever been working? No, but they've always been. They've so always been. Really the power yeah. supply, at least around my area, got really good mm -hmm. for a while. So that's why I didn't even have a. Um, full in my jerry can because right. usually I'll buy but I know at a particular time I would definitely have electricity I would mm. definitely have power supply mm. but they disappointed me yesterday so sad. I had to say really? that pretty sad <laughs> yeah pretty sad that we don't even have light and they're going on strike that's you know I mean, like 2019. It's, it's, it's terrible and then then Ghana was like um uh, they, they have Constant power supply, but I mean, that's so, by so the way. Somebody said so yesterday when Shatawali was talking about coming to Nigeria, and then mm. somebody was like, "You don't have light to charge your phone." Then. Like, wow. <laughs> All right, so we have to um, delve into the stories for the day. So after the death of Juice World, his fans realized he has been, he had previous run-ins with the law. Fans think it was racially profiled by the police because it was black, young, and rich, which is just stereotypical. So, mm. for me, no, 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 no. A crime is a crime. It was caught with drugs. I think they should fo they should bother or focus more on who, who gave the inside um, information. information out. And some people are saying maybe the pilot mm -hmm. or maybe somebody from their camp. You know, we don't know what it is, but I don't think that any this has anything to do with racial profiling because he had drugs, like loads of drugs. He had guns. He had um, controlled drugs. That's codeine. I mean. That's enough to put anybody behind. Yeah, but um, they are worried because um, every time they keep getting tips that this guy has drugs in him. So it's more like, okay, because it's black, young, rich, and the lyrics of okay, the song, yeah, yeah. so they just believe that because of what you sing about, you mm -hmm. must definitely have drugs on you. So no, I, I, that's why I said I think they should focus more on who is the snitch in their camp. No, aside that, um, I saw a story, but that is... accurate information about you every time then somebody's telling something to the police i saw his story but it's yet to be confirmed mm. um they said some of his friends might be charged for his mother because they were the ones smuggling the drugs and guns into the country so he was trying to conceal the drugs for them especially the pills you understand so they were using his jet to smuggle drugs so it does it's not like it belongs to even, but it's unconfirmed because yeah, um, that's I saw it from it, a very... I mean, he's going there for his party, too. He was going to have his birthday party mm -hmm. there. So we and he was going to be performing sure. at a concert as well. We're not sure what exactly the drug was for, where if, if it was for sale or it was mm -hmm. for the party. Right now, we don't know about that. But the point is, they found drugs on him. And I, I really don't think this has anything to do with 
racial profiling, to be honest. We can't associate every single thing that happens. I mean, if you're black and you've done something wrong, it's just normal that you get arrested. We can't mm. keep using this racial thing every single time to defend... Using everything. the black card. Yeah, playing the black card. I'm using the black card, like you rightly said, every single time something like this comes up. I think people need to slow mm. down and let... I them... agree with you to an extent, mm. but um, we can't take away the stereotypical racial profiling of black people. Anyway, of course, so it does exist. We can't take that away. It does exist, but I just think that we should not. We should stop playing that card in every single Benny situation. Benny has this look. I'm waiting to hear what you spill. Yeah, I'm just wondering, like, every black male in, in America is susceptible to racial profiling. They can't escape it. Once mm. a black man is on the scene already, you're, you're already an object of racial profiling. We can't take that away. That racial profiling doesn't yeah. exist mm -hmm. in America. And I'm concerned. Like, one of, one of a few of his friends said that every time he's going somewhere, there's already like an information yeah, waiting. Or waiting for him. Why would you be waiting for him? It's it's not far-fetched. Stereotype of another black male being profiled, being misunderstood, but because he's rich, he doesn't own the jet, he rents the jet. Mm -hmm. And so it's a whole lot of money to rent a jet. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he has money, he sings, he he sings about drugs, yes, okay, once in a while he's been, he's been caught up with the law for drug possession, arm possession, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So does that necessarily mean that for every time this young cat is going somewhere to perform, that is in possession yeah, of drugs. So it's, it just lets you know how messed up it is in America that every black man is, in, is endangered. You, you mm. are automatically, you are an object of racial profiling mm. by virtue of your color, that you are black. Unfortunately for, for Jews' world, he got caught up, um, his own demons caught up with him, he got caught up in the crime he created himself. You know, mm. So we can't say for sure now you know, was, all uh, of these stories that are coming up, um, investigations will have to be done properly to know, okay, was he really smuggling these things in for friends or was he the one really involved in all of this stuff? But we can't play down racial profiling. Many innocent black lives have been lost because of racial profiling. Black males have, have lost their lives as simple as just because um, they stood somewhere selling selling CDs. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it's, it's crazy. The, the American system is really crazy and it's not fair to, to the black male. And then again, black Americans, African Americans should wake up. They know this thing that exists. Racial profiling exists. You are, you're a victim at just, just because you showed up, you're already a victim. Mm -hmm. Then don't always put yourself in a situation to be endangered. Always, don't always put yourself stay in clear. arm's way. Stay clear. If your life really matters to you, if it means okay, anything no, to I you, I, I stay clear. I think that's what we should be talking you know? about mm. when, it, when it's concerned um, world. Because it's not like it's innocent. It's not like it was wrongly mm -hmm. profiled. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, he did what he did. It's just that he's a black man. Yeah. And of course, and once it, if a black man has done anything wrong, everybody will just say, oh, well, they're just trying to fight the black people and mm -hmm. all of that. If you know, you already, like you said, you already know that you have this war to fight yeah. already. Just stay clean. So if anything comes your way, they will meet you clean, and at the end of the day, yeah. they won't be able to rob you with anything. Yeah. All right, so on the bright side, um, Jill's World um, tribute will be held at the Rolling Loud concert in Los Angeles mm. um, with the likes of Leo Palm, Leo Mosey, and the rest of them giving um, their shout out to him. It's been said, or it's been rumor that um, Leo Pump will be performing some of his songs during his own performance. Mm -hmm. um, Juice World was also supposed to be performing at this concert, but um, sadly, we lost him. So let's see how this goes, and um, rest in peace once again, Juice World. Mm -hmm. And um, to every black man watching, stay clear, keep yourself out of arm's way and all of that, if you know you're susceptible to being profiled. so. Just do what you gotta do. Keep your head up. Stay black and rich. It's a good thing. Stay yeah. black and rich and proud. Yeah. 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 So it's time for a break, and we will be right back with more stories. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still buying. 
I'm sad. I look myself. Minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? <laughs> 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 Jada Woods is finally off the hook as she took a two-hour lie detector test to prove she did not sleep with Tristan Thompson on Jada Pinkett's Red Table Talk. Jada had a forensic polygraphist with over 25 years of experience in criminal and civil investigation. Well, so, I really don't know where Jordan is going with all of this because I think she should just be living a life at the Slow moment down. because you really do not owe anybody any explanation if you ask me. It's, it's like she's trying too hard to get back into the Kardashian circle because there's really no need for this. Not and necessarily. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily trying to get back into the Kardashian circle. Um, the truth being involved, right? She's trying to prove, she's trying to make a point that I'm, I'm not guilty of what I'm accused of. It's only human. When your best friend, people you once used to vibe with, you know, things go wrong, it's only human to want to see a way you can fix that up. And that's what Jodie is trying to do. She's been human. Again, I feel in a bit in trying to do that again, it could come off you trying to, again, clear your conscience because you feel you're guilty. And so, but the polygraph test has proven that you know, she wasn't telling a lie. And so she's just doing everything humanly possible to clear her name number one and say, you know what, I didn't do what you guys said I did. And not but that's necessarily... to me, that's okay, um, trying too hard. Because okay, for me. If I give you my word yeah. and you don't believe me, that's your opinion. But that's the point. Your word is not enough. The word we live in today, your words is not enough. Okay. That's the word we live in. Okay, for me, I don't think, I don't know why this is even in news because I think everybody knows that she didn't have sex. With, with him. Tristan, yeah. That's not the point. I think the accusation was not even about her having sexual intercourse with him. It was about making being, out, making out with him. Lap dance. You were and, found in an yeah. inappropriate manner with your best friend's sister, um, sister's baby daddy. But she's come out and say, you know what? That they were all they, everything that happened was in a public place. There were other people around the table that never did she ever give him a lap dance. They were not making out. They didn't go to anywhere private to to mm. to make out. And so I don't know where all of that story is but coming think, from. So I uh, understand why the sister girl had to take a polygraph test to clear her name. And then my problem is, why, why are they bringing it out now? I mean, she took this test about 10 months ago when she was on the Red Table. Why is it that it's just now we're getting the... No, results? I think this is a new episode of no, um, no, no, the Red no, no, Table no. Talk. No, the first episode it was is from, totally different. It was this from... This is new. It was this from the previous one. Oh, yeah? yeah? All right, then maybe I don't have it was, that information. It was, it was from I, the previous... Because I think uh, it's a new one because no, no, no. this was based on request. You know the first one? The Smith family called her in for um, the interview. That was when she took this test. Really? Yeah. That was okay. when she took this test. All right, it's then. just coming out now. They are just telling us about it now. And that's why I feel that this is just like a PR stunt for her. Yes, just it so is. People no, just no, but it is. You're yeah. right about that. So people will and just she's getting endorsement dues right now. So win. <laughs> she's winning all the way from all of this. So I think she's even becoming more famous from all of this drama going on right it's now. It's American so, entertainment. And I, this I is the Kardashian is. family. What is a guarantee that they are not even staging all of this together? That's what I'm saying. It's American man. entertainment. So, so the Kardashians can be in on this, like, okay, girl, it's time Very for you to possible. also make your money. And then before you know, you see the Jordan Woods show, Keeping Up With Jordan, you know, something like that, and then she has her own reality show where, you know, she calls victims of people that have been called out saying that, oh, they had a... Um, relationship with somebody's spouse or this and that so let's see how this plays so, out at the end of the day but man she's think, pretty think, anyways yeah so. she's very pretty but i think she needs to like really slow down the whole world is over this story already it's okay even if you had anything with him if you didn't have i mean it's okay it's, it's your okay. business everybody has moved on from me <laughs> <laughs> she's i mean the, the kardashians have moved on she's the one always talking about it nobody else is talking yeah about i think it. chloe she, said she's moved on and a piece of mind everybody has moved on nobody's right talking now about now it she's, she's really forgiven. one of Talking why would, Jan, why would trying to trivialize Jordan's hurt and pain? If she, she if she's still hurt and pain and she's seeking closure, should we deny that the deny of that? She's probably still hurt and and pain from well, true what that. happened. You have to respect that. Get it? So she, it's, it's, it's a it's, feeling. It's a healing process. What happened? You know? no, I mean, what happened? What happened? Yeah, why is she hurt? That she's accused. She was accused wrongly. What did it happen? 
Yeah, that's the sleeping boy. It doesn't yeah. mean you didn't do something wrong. That's my point. Yeah, you it doesn't understand. mean that. Why she by being in the same wrong, by being in the same space with, kissed, by being in the same space with Tristan? She kissed, she kissed him. him. She didn't de- at first she was she denying deny it, that. but later she had to accept that okay, she yeah. This him. was what happened. And that is so wrong. That's like, wrong. <laughs> If my best friend should kiss <laughs> my girlfriend, come on. I mean, <laughs> oh wow. Do you understand? Wrong. Like, it's that's wrong. I'm wondering. It's why wrong. do you think she's hurt? Why? So that's being disloyal. So that you can't take that away either. She was. I was thinking that's the way the world goes these days. That people, it doesn't really matter. Your best oh, friend no, no, can please, can make up with your woman. Like your woman you can make up with your best friend. friend. If you're watching, if exactly. If you, Thank if you. you. Try his best friend. <laughs> is that not the way the world is right now? I mean, they don't disrespect me. You know, I shouldn't know. If you guys want to do that, and they're trying to, they're trying to make you. They're trying to make it cool. You know, that's a cool thing. From, that's, but please get that's messed up. Do it privately. Don't disrespect me where you know Is there any difference in doing it privately? privately. You exactly. Just don't disrespect me. That's, that's it. it. No, it doesn't make any difference. If you're doing it privately, because, because I don't know about thing. it, then you're not disrespecting me. No. But the moment I get to know about it, that's when I... A girl is with you, and then she's also giving it to your best friend, to your friend, and friends, friends for friends. But I don't know. I mean, not you I don't know. The world don't know. So Are you sure the world don't know? That's what you think. What, what you don't that doesn't know. know. And they're talking about it. People no, are talking about it. What you don't it. know won't hurt you. That Not much. necessarily so any longer, bro. Okay. What you don't know kills well, you faster. That, that's, that, that, that's what <laughs> may I believe, Sha. As long as I don't know, then it's fine. All right, we need to move on to the next story. Pretty Mike has sent out words to the ladies sliding in his DM to profess their love to the socialite. And he said, and I quote, I understand... Understand we're not on the same level in the society strata. Mm, proud, pretty. Well, <laughs> I mean, I think I agree with what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yep, totally. Everybody should have standards. 100%. Everybody should have standard. Male, female, have your own standard. This is the person you want. I think, basically, what he's just trying to say is be your, be your type's type. Mm. Don't don't go exactly. for somebody that's not your type and you're just trying to put in effort and it's looking like the person's the wicked one or the person's ignoring you, but... Is that person? Are you that person's type? type? That's it. People need to understand that before you know getting into their feelings and making. If you were that person, would you be? Would you be the type? Would you be your? <laughs> you know. Man? So I mean, mm. I totally agree with what he said. Yeah, I do too. And then all those ladies come out and they tell you that, oh, don't you know your level? Don't you know I'm not? I, I'm high maintenance. You can't take care of me. You can't do this. That's the same way you should know that a guy has taste. We don't just jump around, even though that's the perception almost every woman has about us. That wow, it is we chase. What it is. You know, I came across a tweet lately. It's a, it's a, she's a known she's a she's a known person. I think she's a socialite. I just can't recall her name now on Twitter. She actually gave a very profound advice that guys, if you want to make it, stay away from ladies with high taste that don't work. Mm. True that. Because it beats me. You have so much high taste, but you can't afford the high taste you have. Then you, you want to you want to leave, you leave your high taste. We need to you want to leave break. your high taste with someone else's money. That is ridiculous. We need to go on a break. We will be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. And before we went on that break, um, Benny Ak was sharing with us a story. So yeah, please man. kindly It's go a tweet on. that came across, I mean, and she was like, you know, guys, if you're going to make it, make sure you stay away with women with high maintenance who are not working. Mm-hmm. And th- there's a big fraction of those kind of people here in Lagos. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they're not working. Mm-hmm. You know, and you see them, you see them living La Vida Loca. You know, that's living in Lagos. Exactly, in the world. Living La Vida Loca, and they have somebody, somebody who is, I'm sorry, I'm not putting that, somebody from a very poor home, you know, and she's telling you she has standards, she has taste, but you're not working. 
mm. and your, your, your high maintenance on someone else's income, someone else's income. So it beats my mind. Because for you to be an independent woman, it means you can take care of your own. Mm -hmm. And so any guy coming into your zone would know, would know, okay, you know what, I have a standard to keep up, she's okay. But you, you, you're not paying, you can't pay your bills. You, you, you're not even driving. I mean, you practically, I mean, live from, from hand to mouth, you know, and if, if the guys don't come patronize what it is you're selling, you're not going to make money at all, and so you you have high maintenance, you have you're standards. Shaking the table right you now. You know, I'm just saying because the only thing you, you the only thing you got to offer is your buddy. That is the medium of exchange for money for you, mm -hmm. and you tell me you have high maintenance, you you have standards, but so you don't. If you take, I saw this all the post that um, if you take away sex from most relationships, these ladies are not bringing any other thing to the table, mm. and it's kind of true, because. You find out that you see a lot of pretty faces out there, nice curves and all you that, know, and no brains. Okay, no disrespect. You know, exactly. you know what? I want to make I want I want to make Sorry. I want to make an exception for a few ladies, for a few women. I won't generalize. No, you know because this is, let me tell you what the problem ladies. is with our society. We have a lot of women who are interested with guys who have money and they forget about any other values. Mm. Mm. And then we have a lot of guys who are what they're interested in is the woman's body. Okay, that's mm. exactly, you know, don't you get it? And so, this yeah, table, it's I'm just like, the woman's body. It's, it's, and so it's, it's a mixed, a it's a mixed grill. We're all mm. caught up in this mix and until we fix it, it's just gonna continue that way. So there are women now, all they do, they just wanna make sure they have that so-called summer buddy because they know that is commodity for sale. I mean, that's you know? what all men are coming for. But you that's why a lot of women are doing yeah. this surgery thing right now because they know that with that buddy, that's the selling point. Oh, and they well, can make that a lot can be. I can, so we have I'm, our I'm, young, I'm not going to agree yeah. with that. A lot no, of women get their body done because they just want to look good. You can't say that's what they tell you, but we all know what is. How do you all of know it? what they've not told you, if uh, people I know, get their body done I know done ladies to that have gotten their bodies done. Not because of any man. And then when you ask them why did you do it, you be like, because that's what men like. Oh, do you sorry, understand? I don't know the kind of ladies yeah. you made, but people get their body done because they want to look good, not because. So, I was just trying to attractive. say, you know what, I'm not going to put the blame totally on the women, mm. all right? So it's, we're all, we're all sharing this blame, we all created this monster that is ripping us apart right now. And so there's got to be a balance. What is socially acceptable, mm. what is morally acceptable? Yeah. We can't yeah. be, we can't live in coexistence in a society and say, you know what, we, we should play um, blind eyes to what is socially wrong or mm. what is morally wrong. We should accept it and as a norm, it's hip, it's cool. And it's just okay. I mean, you see a lot of young girls who, the university or they just came out of university mm. and that is their trade that is their hustle mm. and then you're gonna wonder okay where did we get it wrong what happened yeah so but um finally i think um my closing remark on this story will just be that ladies you you need to know that guys we also have standards so we just don't go for everything like you guys believe so sometimes my closing need... remark on this is going to be be a <clears throat> Type, type. Simple. It's not about men or women. They have just our be standards, type, so type. just stop sliding in the DMs. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyhow, let's move on to the next story. So, Speed Darlington sent out a stern warning to Tunde Ednot, saying, stop posting my videos without tagging me. Matter of fact, he told Tunde Ednot that if it's arranged slap for her. <laughs> no, deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> if I may ask, do you think Speed Darlington was wrong for, for saying that to Tunde Ednot? No, I don't. No, 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 no. It's his intellectual property. Yes. Give me credit if you got to use it. Mm. Because that's plagiarism. I mean, lifting up my property, mm -hmm. what is mine, my intellectual property, and not give me credit for mm -hmm. it. It is, it is, it is punishable. Mm. It's a crime. Yeah. And so it's just that the person of hospitality is funny. It's funny. <laughs> Even the way he was saying it, you wouldn't take him seriously. Right. I'm sure today was also <laughs> laughing when he was saying that. I mean, video. today posted a video of him <laughs> after that video again. I said, you can't but just love this guy. <laughs> I saw antenna the video. is resting. <laughs> no, I saw My the video. should rise. I'm like, sorry, <laughs> do you want today to really take you seriously with this video you just I mean. put out? He's just a joke. Well, it's a joke, and sadly, this is not a joke show, but we have to wrap up. And thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you goes to my co-anchors, Ewa and Benny, for their interesting and for their interesting um, contribution and the entire production team. I'm a fellow Oceanca saying thank you for watching and stay blessed. Thank you.